Hello guys, in this video we will install Python, then we will install Visual Studio Code and finally we will install Python extension for Visual Studio Code and we will run our first Python script in Visual Studio. So let's jump into it. So first of all, go to this URL. I will have all the steps and all the links in the description so you can copy this from there. And as you can see initially uh, you can just click on this button download python 3.11.3 here from here it's the latest version but if you want some older version you can just scroll down and choose any one of these from here so let's say we want this one which is actually the latest so you just click on download here and you scroll down and there are a lot of files here so what you want to do is you want to download one of these two so which one do you want so what you want to do is you want to check your OS bit okay so to do that uh, press Windows and R and write DX DIAG and click OK and as you can see here in operating system it's showing 64 bit right so you download the 64 bit version just click on this and it will be downloaded I already have this downloaded here so once this is downloaded click on open file and you can choose to install uh, like customized installation but no need to do that you need to do install this because it already includes IDLE PIP and all the good stuff so IDLE is like an IDE for Python and PIP is used to install another pic another Python packages like TensorFlow or NumPy or uh, you know all that other good stuff so you'll also want to check this so that you can use python.exe from command line okay and click on install now hit yes let it install okay so it's showing step was successful and all this stuff right so that means it is installed but now we need to see if it is accessible from command line because if you want to run scripts mostly you'll be doing it from command line so press cmd and start and let's see if it's working or not yeah as you can see we are inside this thing now this is working because we had checked that add to path by part if you forgot to do that we will see how we can add python to path uh, in some other tutorial so Let's print and see if it's working or not. Hello from Python. Okay, it is working. First of all, let's check if what our uh, Windows version is. So you can type Windows R and this run dialog will appear and then you can type MS Info 32 and then you will see your OS name that is Microsoft Windows 11 Home for me. You can see all this stuff you can see the ram all right and as you can see system type is 64 bit system so 64 bit softwares will work for us you can also check all the stuff provided below this all right but for now this is enough for us we have a 64 bit system and we have microsoft windows 11 home okay let me just close this now go to your browser and type download vs code and click on this first URL that is from the official code.visualstudio.com okay so click the first one and then you need to download for Windows 11 as we saw <clears throat> our system is 64-bit system so uh, instead of these things command line and stuff click the user installer one right x64 one click on this x64 and now your download should be started and it is downloading as you can see if it does not download you can just click on this direct download link and then it will download okay so let's wait till this is downloaded so now this is that now that this is downloaded you can just click open file or you can just go where it is and then double click to open it so i'll just click open file and the installer will open accept the agreement click next and you can change the directory wherever you want to install this uh, application but for now I'll just leave it in the default directory you can also leave it in the default directory and just hit next 
you can create a desktop icon let's create a desktop icon add path so that our code command will work so this uh, keep these checked all right and click next install now our vs code is installing okay so now there is this option to launch visual studio code so i can finish this and the visual studio code will be launched as you can see it is launched click on this extensions or you can click Control shift and x and this extension will open let's type python it will search for a while now as you can see it is provided by microsoft itself it is the intellisense by Py, pylance there are other things also but you need to install the one that is provided by microsoft itself all right as you can see it uh, it allows refactoring unit tests debugging and a lot more so install this and as you can see this is installing you can see all about it here while it is being installed so I'll wait while this gets installed okay so as you can see Python is installed here this is, now this is just an extension this is not the language Python so if your language is not installed again as I said before you need to install Python so click on the link in the description or in the screen or in the comments and you will be able to install Python so yeah as you can see here first let's just create a Python file and let's see how it works for right and right now I'll just write print and let's say hello Python okay so this is my Python file now you can click on this play button to run it and first let's save it as forest python and let's save it in desktop it is saved now it has run and as you can see you can see hello python here and you can close this you can go to your files here and create a new project python project and python project will work now with all the functions like debugging and all the other good stuff so yeah if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below peace out